Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental as 900 practice questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft as 900 exam. I am your host Mirai and let's get started. Question 138. Your company develops applications on virtual machines. You need to control access to your application. Which features do you need to use for this? Choose the two best solutions. And the options are Option 1, Network Security Group Option 2, Network Access Control Option 3, Network Gateway Option 4, Azure Firewall Option 5, Azure WAF And the correct answers are Option 1, Network Security Group Option 4, Azure Firewall Explanation Option 1 is the correct answer. You can set security rules that allow or deny Azure resources such as virtual machines in an Azure virtual network to send and receive network traffic. Traffic control on a resource-by-resource -resource basis is possible. Option 4 is the correct answer. Azure Firewall can identify traffic leaving your virtual network with an external firewall. Traffic control is possible for each virtual network. Question 139. Your company has 10 offices and wants to generate a billing report from the Azure portal for each office separately. Each report includes Azure resource utilization for each office. Which of the following Azure Resource Manager features should you use to help generate this separated report? And the options are Option 1. Tags Option 2. Template Option 3. Lock Option 4. Azure Policy And the correct answer is Option 1. Tags Explanation Option 1 is the correct answer. You need to use tags to logically group Azure resources. By setting a tag and recording the office name or department name when creating a resource, you can group according to this tag name. You can then use these tags to create a billing report for separate offices. Option 2 is incorrect. Templates are just so documents that detail Azure resources. These are not helpful when grouping and creating billing reports. Option 3 is incorrect. Locks are a mechanism to prevent changes to Azure resources. These are not helpful when grouping and creating billing reports. Option 4 is incorrect. Azure policy is a function that applies organizational standards to the Azure environment and evaluates resource integrity, compliance, and so on. This is not helpful when making a billing report for separate groups. Question 140. Which of the following services is used for serverless application development? And the options are Option 1. Azure Machine Learning Option 2. Azure IoT Hub Option 3. Azure Boat Services Option 4. Azure Functions And the correct answer is Option 4. Azure Functions Explanation Option 4 is the correct answer. Azure Functions is correct because it provides serverless computing capabilities. This allows users to execute code, functions, serverlessly. The main advantage of serverless computing is that users pay only for the execution time of the function, which saves money. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure Machine Learning is a service that builds machine learning models. Option 2 is incorrect. Azure IoT Hub is a service for connecting users' IoT applications to IoT devices. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure Boat Service is a service used to automate simple and repetitive tasks. For example, it is used to create chatbots for Line and Slack. Question 141 True or False? You can manage multiple subscriptions using a single Microsoft account. And the options are Option 1, True Option 2, False And the correct answer is Option 1, True Explanation The correct answer is True. 
This is correct because you can have multiple subscriptions under one account. At first, you can have up to 50 subscriptions and the limit can be increased up to 200 after opening a support request. Question 142. True or false? Data center deployment is an example of CapEx. And the options are Option 1, true. Option 2, false. And the correct answer is Option 1, true. Explanation The correct answer is true. CapEx is a capital expenditure, such as the purchasing of fixed assets like buildings and equipment. CapEx is an initial cost and usually does not have regular subsequent costs attached. The installation of a data center is an example of CapEx because it is installed at an initial cost. Question 143. Please select the option to fill in the following blanks. You can create an Azure support request from the dash. And the options are Option 1, Azure Advisor. Option 2, Azure Portal. Option 3, Knowledge Center. Option 4, Security and Compliance Center. And the correct answer is Option 2, Azure Portal. Explanation Option 2 is the correct answer. Support requests can be made from the Azure Portal instead of the Azure Advisor. You can also use the Azure Support Ticket REST API to programmatically create and manage requests. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure Advisor is a recommendation service that analyzes your architectural configuration and usage. It helps you optimize your deployment based on Azure's best practices. Option 3 is incorrect. Knowledge Center is a collection of common questions and answers regarding Azure. Option 4 is incorrect. The Security and Compliance Center only provides operations related to security and regulatory compliance. Question 144. You have an Azure web app and you need to manage your web app settings from your iPhone. Please select two Azure management tools that you can use for this. And the options are Option 1, Azure CLI Option 2, Azure Portal Option 3, Azure Cloud Shell Option 4, Azure Storage Explorer And the correct answers are Option 2, Azure Portal Option 3, Azure Cloud Shell. Explanation. Options 2 and 3 are correct. Azure Portal and Azure Cloud Shell are two Azure management tools available from the iPhone as they support iOS. Option 1 is incorrect. The Azure CLI is incorrect because the Azure documentation states that it cannot be installed on iOS systems. Option 4 is incorrect. Azure Storage Explorer is incorrect because it is a standalone app that makes it easy to work with Azure Storage data on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It is not relevant. Question 145. Which of the following is a correct statement about Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA? And the options are. Option 1. In order to implement Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA, you need to apply federation or synchronize your on-premises credentials with the cloud. Option 2. It is common to use face authentication for Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA. Option 3. Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA, can enforce MFA for both administrators and non-administrators. Option 4. In order to begin using Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA, it is necessary to make setting changes to the services and applications currently in use. And the correct answer is Option 3. Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA, can enforce MFA for both administrators and non-administrators. Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. You can require MFA for both administrators and non-administrators by using Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA, 
is a service for MFA and has nothing to do with account federation or on-premises authentication. Option 2 is incorrect. For authentication methods, you can use a combination of two or more of what the user knows what the user has the user themselves type questions and it is common for the user to use a password in addition to this. Face authentication is not an option for MFA. Option 4 is incorrect. You don't need to make any changes to your current services or applications to take advantage of Azure Multifactor Authentication, MFA. Question 146. You have deployed a virtual machine called Sample VM with a custom Azure Resource Manager template named VMA Jasso, but you need to move the Sample VM to another host. Solution Perform a redeploy in the Azure portal. Does this solve the problem? And the options are Option 1 Yes. Option 2 No. And the correct answer is Option 1 Yes. Explanation. Yes is the correct answer. You can redeploy a virtual machine once it has been deployed in the Azure portal. Then, when redeploying, it is possible to specify another host. Question 147. In order to gain a security token, what does your application need to connect to use? And the options are. Option 1. Azure Storage Account. Option 2. Certificate Store. Option 3. Azure Key Vault. Option 4. Azure Active Directory. And the correct answer is Option 4. Azure Active Directory. Explanation Option 4 is the correct answer. Developers can get security tokens using Azure Active Directory. Option 1 is incorrect. The Azure Storage account contains all Azure Storage data objects such as blobs, files, queues, tables, disks, and does not hold managed security tokens. Option 2 is incorrect. The certificate store is used to store certificates related to Azure resources, so it does not hold or manage security tokens. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure Key Vault is a service that securely protects encryption keys and other confidential information used by cloud apps and services and does not retain or manage security tokens. Question 148. Which of the following explanations is correct? Please select all that apply. And the options are. Option 1. In Azure Service Help, you can set alerts for failures in Azure Services. Option 2. In Azure Service Help, you can set preventive measures against failures. Option 3. In Azure Service Help, you can request advice to Azure Support. Option 4. In Azure Service Help, you can check the status of all services in the Azure environment. And the correct answers are. Option 1. In Azure Service Help, you can set alerts for failures in Azure Services. Option 4. In Azure Service Health, you can check the status of all services in the Azure environment. Explanation Option 1 is the correct answer. Azure Service Health notifies you about Azure Service Incidents and Planned Maintenance so you can take action to reduce downtime manually. In other words, it is possible to set alerts for failures in Azure Services and receive notifications. Option 4 is the correct answer. Azure Service Health can configure custom cloud alerts and use personalized dashboards to analyze health issues and monitor their impact on cloud resources. Option 2 is incorrect. You can display the status of the service and set the alert rules for when a failure occurs from Azure Service Health, but you cannot prevent the failure itself. Option 3 is incorrect. You cannot apply for advice to Azure Support in Azure Service Health. You need to apply for Azure Support on the Azure Support page. Question 149 Your company has an Azure subscription that includes resources from several regions. Company policy states that administrators should only allow the creation of additional Azure resources in the region where their office is located. 
What do you need to use to allow the creation of Azure resources as needed while still meeting this company policy? And the options are Option 1. Management Group Option 2. Read-only lock Option 3. Azure Reservations Option 4. Azure Policy And the correct answer is Option 4. Azure Policy Explanation Option 4 is the correct answer. Azure policy is correct because you can apply policies to management or resource groups that limit the space available for creating resources. This policy applies to subscriptions and resources under that management group by only allowing the creation of resources in that region. Azure policy is an Azure service used to create, assign, and manage policies. These policies apply different rules and effects to resources, so they remain compliant with corporate standards and service-level contracts. Azure policies meet this need by assessing resources for non-compliance with assigned policies. For example, you can apply Azure policies to management groups that limit the space available for creating virtual machines, VMs. This policy applies to all management groups, subscriptions, and resources under that management group by only allowing the creation of VMs in that region. With the right type of policy, you can make your existing resources compliant. With this set, users can only create resources in this approved area. Option 1 is incorrect. Management groups are incorrect here because they are simply used to organize your subscriptions into containers called management groups and apply governance conditions policies to management groups. Option 2 is also incorrect. Read-only locks are used to allow authorized users to read a resource, but this is not correct here because they are simply used to prevent deletion or updates. Option 3 is also incorrect. Azure reservations are incorrect because these are simply used for the purposes of saving money through planning for one or three years use of Azure resources. Question 150. True or false? There are differences in Azure services between regions. And the options are. Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is. Option 1. True. Explanation. The correct answer is true. There are Azure services that are only available in certain regions and not all regions have exactly the same services. Question 151. True or false? There are differences in Azure service charges between regions. And the options are. Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 1. True Explanation The correct answer is true. The price required for Azure services varies slightly depending on the region, and it is necessary to calculate the cost for each region. Question 152 True or false? All users can use any region. And the options are Option 1. True Option 2. False. And the correct answer is. Option 2. False. Explanation. The correct answer is false. Regions within China are only available to organizations that have business locations in China. Azure China has a special region that is only available within China in response to China-specific internet regulations. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our premium as 900 bundle with 90% off. Check link in the description.